Hello, guys. Today is, I think, July 8th. I don't have a calendar over here. It's not July 8th, I think mean it's July 7th, but I think it's whatever. <laughs> okay. It's 2017. It is a Saturday. Um, I, one thing I just forgot to, to check was the uh, date when I left the house. Um, the background music is our uh, two other, I mean, our four sheep doodles that will be going home next week. Um, anyway, this is a litter of pure doodles. This litter has made me laugh, brought smiles, given me cuddles and kisses, all the things that I really, really need right now. And especially our green collar boy, because he's our escape artist. He was the first one to bound over the barrier, which I've doubled at this point. Um, let's see, and we call our green boy Apple, and he is an apple. I'll tell you what, if I could keep a puppy, I would, and it would be this guy. As a pet, I mean, I could have him for breeding, but um, we don't have as many standard poodles, females anymore, so... Um, he's even got the, the uh, uh, signature Cleopatra eye that we often find on our sheep doodles But oh my goodness, this guy is so full of personality. When he bounds out of the uh, box as I'm trying to take care of everybody, feed them, and get ready to uh, do chores and clean their box, he is out before a blink of an eye. And I'll usually scoop him up and carry him around. And while I'm carrying him around and doing chores, he's giving me little kisses, aren't you? Yeah. They're just a bunch of little fur balls. I love their little short bodies. And anyway, these are pure doodles. If anybody hasn't figured it out that follows our um, website, they, these are our pure doodle puppies. Um, they will be ready to go home. I think I have it noted on my website around the 27th of July. Um, they are absolutely precious. At least you can potty train during the warmer months. And some people, of course, are off, but I know many people do go back to school in August. Um, but it is a great time to have a puppy to raise. Um, as long as you're done with vacations, that can be tough too. So um, anyway, I believe we have two girls. Two girls and four boys is what I recall. All right, this is our little purple collar girl. Sorry about that. They got a little bit of ucky on their coats, but they've actually been a fairly clean litter. It's been a good litter to take care of since the early stages, but that's kind of why I put the pellets down in here. If they don't go in the box, that's their potty box, but uh, they're not 100%. And when they do go here, at least it kind of um, works like kitty litter and keeps the puppies cleaner. Markings on you are beautiful. Come here. Perfect symmetrical mask face. This is our brown collared boy. He is precious. I just love this layer. I, I don't know. There's something about the temperaments of these pure doodles that I just absolutely love. They will blow their coat. Um, I did see where a couple of them are blowing their coat right now, but it is still minimal. I have a sheep, do I mean, excuse me, purebred Pyrenees in my house that's blowing her coat. Honestly, I have no carpet, but I do because it's turned white in my house. Um, but it, fortunately, it's kind of temporary. I mean, yes, they do shed, uh, or the Pyrenees anyway, throughout the year, but not in the volume that they are now in early summer. She's literally blowing her coat. Uh, but it does help because they don't require near as much professional grooming as some of our other non-shedding breeds, okay? Including this first-generation Pyrenees. You are cute. You are cute. I believe that is our blue collared boy. Come here. Yep, dark blue collared boy. And there's our little pink girl. Yeah, hi. She learned to shake already, huh? Use the precious. She is our other one that has discovered, following her brother, that she can pop right out of the box when I only have one barrier there. And uh, she's a cutie pie too. I've been known to have you Karen. You have got the cutest face. <laughs> That's again our dark blue collared boy. Oh, look at him yawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and let's see. I think you're the black collared boy, aren't you? Uh, let's see. Your mom's out there scratching on the door. Aren't your collar stuck in your hair? Come here. Okay. Yes, that is <laughs> Mr. Brown. I, look, I've already featured you, buddy. Yes, I have. All right. There's our black collared boy. He's also one of our smallest. He and the pink girl are the smallest in the litter, but not by much. And that is no indication of their size at full, uh, full grown. 
All right, here's our purple collar girl. You're dirty. You're dirty. Yeah, and she's got a little smudgy on her face. Yep. Just like uh, the, I have a first generation Pyridoodle that just had her first litter, of course, uh, a few weeks back, and all her puppies have gone home. Um, but I named her Smudgy. And uh, again, as I mentioned on my previous video, this smudge on the side of their face, which as they grow is adorable. But uh, anyway, it's kind of their signature mark, like the dot is on the top of the head of the Sheepadoodles or even the purebred Sheepdogs. Look at that mask. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. I know. That's our brown collar boy. <laughs> These guys are so fun. There's our blue collar boy. And why do I feel like I'm missing somebody? That's our green collar boy. He is the one, of course, that keeps bopping right over the barrier, but he's a doll baby. They're eating very well. Um, had a couple of dewormings. Yes. First vaccine. Yes. Hi guys. So again, this is a first generation litter of pure doodles. Their mom is uh, Bandy. She is our one and only, well, we have a half badger. Kai, uh, Kai is kind of our half badger, but um, Bandy is our only full badger Pyrenees. And their daddy, of course, is RG. And he is an AKC standard poodle. Uh, parents are featured on our website. Yeah, you're cute. Um, and of course, you can join our Facebook page, uh, Law Padoodle Canine, oh, excuse me, Pure Doodles at Law Padoodle Canine Manor. Um, it is an open public page, but we would welcome you to join, and that way you can get notifications and follow all of our uh, families with Pure Doodles from our previous um, litters. You can also find some information about this litter um, and any upcoming litters, whether sheep -a doodles We are expecting, I believe, a litter of sheep -a doodles with uh, Reddy and Gino uh, here in a few weeks. Not 100% confirmed, but she's had two litters for us, so we have little reason to believe that she is to, to believe that she wouldn't be pregnant. And then uh, we've got three or four other girls for sheep -a doodles also doing heat very soon. And um, again, this is Law Padoodle Canine Manor, and our website is www.lawpdoodlek, the number nine, manor, M A N O R, dot com. And you got a little poopy on your bed yet, bud? I'm gonna get that off of you. All right. So thank you very much for viewing our puppies. <laughs> oh, are you guys thirsty? Are you guys thirsty? May God bless you.